just walking to work on this very gloomy morning and I was thinking to myself, how should I start this week's vlog? I don't have a lot going on this week, if I'm honest, so it might not be the most interesting vlog, but I want to vlog this week. Um, and I was looking through my phone, looking at kind of like what footage I'd gathered over the last couple of weeks and realised it was basically all just videos of trees, nice light, the moon, the sky, um, and it actually kind of got me reflecting a bit on how this seasonal shift is making me feel. When we go from kind of like into autumn and then slowly into winter, I feel very conflicting feelings. I have a lot of anxiety, also a lot of excitement at the same time, which I guess are two similar feelings in the way that they make you feel. Um, the anxiety comes from like the realisation, I think, of how much time has really passed. I think British people often say, oh wow, I can't believe how quickly the year's gone. Like, it's something that I swear we say every year. But in particularly, this year seems like it has gone by, like, just in a flash. And I wonder if that's because this year has felt like the first year um, since all of these lockdowns that's kind of been normal, like we've been able to just kind of get on with things. So I think that might have contributed to the speed of things, feeling a lot faster in comparison to the last two years, which felt a lot slower, I think, when I, well, I, it, to me, felt a lot slower when I was in it. And without having too much of an existential crisis, um, thinking of how much time has passed does scare me a little. Like right now I'm thinking, wow, 10, 10 months has just gone. That time has gone. And yes, I could reflect on things that have happened in that 10 months, but to me I'm just like overwhelmed by how much time has passed and how quickly it's gone by. So that gives me a lot of anxiety. Um, just the thought that nearly a whole year has gone. However, the excitement I do feel outweighs it. Um, and I get quite, um, I get quite social this time of year, I have to say. As an introvert, I actually find that this time of year is when I'm at my at my most sociable because I like to kind of end my year catching up with people, doing lots of social things. Um, it just feels a really nice way to round off the year up until like mid-December and then that's when I go into like hibernation mode and you don't see me. I'm on the sofa, I'm watching films, I'm eating all the Christmas food, I'm not leaving the house. Um, so I think that's also why I kind of pack out my social calendar from the start of November to mid-December because I know I'm going to give myself this real like sort of period of hibernating. Oh my god, I can't keep the camera up, it hurts my arm. Um, so yeah, just some small reflections on how the seasonal shift makes me feel. I do love this time of year. Um, I'm a big, big Christmas person. I like anything that is autumn, winter related when it comes to kind of like food and drink. I love Christmas food and the whole kind of feeling that Christmas gives me. So this is pretty much what I've been wearing every day for the past like four or five days while it's been torrential rain. Whistles, leather jacket. This is from last season, but I'm pretty sure they've carried it over to this season. I've got it in a size small. I probably could have gone for an extra small, but I was a bit worried about how it would fit with lots of layers underneath. So I think I've, I think it was wise to go with a small because it's a, just a slightly looser, more comfortable fit. Underneath, I've got a black, um, merino wool turtleneck from Uniqlo, v-neck wool jumper from Nothing Written, alpaca hat from Arquette, and then my jeans are weekday. I'm pretty sure these are the Voyage fit. They're kind of like a washed black colour. I've had these for quite a while and I remember last year weekday did like a reshuffle of their denim and got rid of loads of good styles, annoyingly. Um, obviously I will check and link if they are still available. And then Blondstone boots, I can't remember the exact number, these are the stout brown colour. They're just their classic, you know, round boot. They're so good for when it rains because obviously they're um, waterproof and virtually indestructible it seems. And then my bag will just be 
tote bag to carry all my work stuff in. at this point in the vlog. We have had a very relaxing weekend, making the most of the good weather yesterday. We went to the beach because it's been like torrential rain over the past couple of weekends. So I had a lovely time, went for a long walk along the beach, had fish and chips, went to the arcades, did all the typical things that you do when you go to the seaside. And then today has been very chilled, literally haven't done anything. Dean's currently out skating and then we're going out for like an early dinner. So I have got a few hours to just sit and do nothing. So I'm gonna just edit some bits, edit some photos and videos and put on a comfort film, I think. My two comfort films I alternate between are Booksmart and School of Rock. Never get bored of those two, have watched them an unhealthy amount. However, I was just browsing through Netflix and noticed that She's the Man is on there. So I think I'm gonna watch that because I haven't watched that in a long time. And I was just thinking how much of a comfort era that was like all but like Lindsay Lohan, Hilary Duff, Amanda Bynes, all of those films are such great comfort watches on a Sunday afternoon. I love them. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit on the sofa watching that, doing some editing. I am an absolute vision of vivid colour. Surprise, surprise. Um Arquette Beanie. Mind blank just then. Arquette beanie, Arquette vest, Arquette t-shirt, Arquette jeans. I promise this is not sponsored by Arquette. I just happened to have put a lot of Arquette pieces on today. Uh, these are the barrel leg jeans. Really good fit, like in terms of the length, if you are sort of around 5'3 to 5'5", five five, I'd say, and you're looking for a pair of jeans with a just a nice bit of slouch at the bottom. These are really good. The row, soft loafers, um, House of Dagmar blazer coat. I kind of wish I had a heavyweight version of this coat as well because I'm wearing this so much at the moment. I would love a thicker, like a thick wool version for the winter so that I can keep wearing this kind of style of coat because it is quite a um, like a close fit. So I don't think I'd really be able to get a thick knit underneath this. I could, of course, wear thermals underneath quite easily. Maybe I'll try that as it gets colder. Um, but yeah, in my mind, I'm just like, I would love... A thick wool version of this. Oh, by the way, the vest is a size extra small. Whenever I feature the cream version of this, I get asked um, so much about the sizing. I actually have the cream one in extra small and a large because sometimes I like a slouchier fit. Um, but this one in particular I'm wearing today is um, an extra small. And then my bag will be Cos crossbody along with just Muji tote bag as always for my laptop. Every time I walk to work, I pass an antique jewellers and my attention is always caught cool. every time I walk past by either a ring, it's mainly rings because they always have a really good selection of rings in the window, but there's always something that catches my attention, but I never go in, like I just look and then move on. And then the other day I w walked past and I just thought I'm going in, I'm going in and I want to try on some rings because they had a beautiful, beautiful bloodstone signet ring in the window and I was like, I'm um, anyway, I'd said yes to a beautiful signet ring and have put it in to be resized and I'm now and I am really excited about this.
Right, I'm going to do my best to show you this ring without highlighting the awful um, condition my nails and fingers are in. I'm going, I'm coming out the other end of a bit of a bad picking phase. I pick the skin around my nails quite a lot when I'm a bit nervous and anxious and I think the start of the new job I just I was quite nervous and in particular the thumbs get it quite bad. Anyway, this is the ring. So pleased with it. Green bloodstone with a really nice spattering of um, red through it that you can't really notice on first glance but when you really sort of look and then it catches the light you can see you probably you won't be able to see on camera at all um I'm now about to paint my nails actually because I am getting so self you know like when you put some slightly more eye-catching jewelry on your hand and then it draws attention to your hand and then you get a bit conscious about your nails and that is me right now so I'm gonna just put on some clear gel polish just to kind of neaten them up a bit I can't seem to get the kind of sheer nude right. I've got ballet slippers by Essie. I've also got fairy, fairy Taylor, is that? Yeah, fairy Taylor by Essie. I've got ballerina by Chanel and none of them are right. I, I seem to be picking the wrong tone possibly. They're all slightly different, but none of them, I feel like they don't look right on my skin tone. I know lots of people rave about the, is it the Dior apricot, uh, base coat but I'm a bit unsure on it so if anyone has any suggestions for a kind of like not a fully opaque colour but not completely sheer like somewhere in between that just creates that really nice kind of like natural healthy looking nail look I would really appreciate it because I seem to be going wrong somewhere with the shades that I'm picking. <laughs> Another very grey morning and an outfit to reflect that. I really need to have a little bit of a wardrobe reorganisation over the next few days and just bring out some of the more, I guess, slightly more colourful pieces in my wardrobe. Not that I've got a lot, but just some of the slightly more exciting, visually exciting things, um, just to kind of get things like I'm at the moment, I'm just grabbing all the black things. The weather's not helping. Um, sometimes I just wake up in the morning and I can't really be bothered to think. So I think the easiest thing to do is to just grab the black things um, rather than dig around for other things. So yeah, I think I just need to kind of like reorganize the wardrobe so that there's more variation easily like grabbable in the morning if you know what I mean anyway until then you have an all black outfit totem scarf I've tied this round twice loose not at the back just so it's quite like loose and relaxed in comparison to you know like when I wear it quite tight and clean against the neck I thought today I'll just do it a little bit loose and ruffled um Arquette t-shirt cos belt this skirt is from I never know if it's just stories or 12 stories. I found it on sale on Farfetch, but I can't find it on the 12 stories website. It's not the best fit, I have to say. Like this, the, the back here, it's really not not well done. Um, there's a lot of gathering at the back there. So I'm going to take it to the tailor and get it pinched in so it sits a lot cleaner around my waist. And then underneath, I've just put that nothing written knit on, the V-neck one. Um, a line liner from last year or the year before obviously we'll link it if it's still available however Uniqlo do a pretty much identical version to this jacket and then cos bag it's amazing how much more positive and energized I feel after going for a run um I mean it's a no-brainer really if you start your day with an endorphin hit obviously it's going to make you feel good um it's just finding the motivation to go for a morning run, isn't it? That's the, the difficult bit. I, I'm trying my best to do three runs this week. I keep trying to get back into running and like something just, I just find an excuse, you know, normally it's weather or like I'm tired or it's, you know, but this week, no excuses. Right, I'm just going to do like a little bit of a kind of beauty chat, not too long, um, just because I've introduced a couple of new products into my beauty regime. And those of you that have followed for a while know that I don't change my beauty set up very often. I'm a creature of habit. I've been using the same products for a long, long time. But as we go into winter, I feel like I'm just changing a couple of products here and there so that I look a little bit more like, I guess, glowy. Um, and because obviously in winter, you start to look a little bit, a little bit dull, a little bit dehydrated. So I'm kind of like upping all of the hydrating products and upping all of the glowy products. Also, my... Um, I'm a bit paler now, so the water fresh tint 
is a little bit too warm toned for my skin so I've had to switch up the product that I'm using as my base and I was recently sent this um, these are the Vital Skincare Complexion Drops from Westman Atelier. Very nice packaging. Um, and I'm liking them a lot. They're extremely dewy. I tried them, I've had these for a couple of months and I tried them in the summer but they were a bit too dewy for, for my skin type. I found I was looking a bit too shiny halfway through the day. But I'm thinking for the winter these can be quite good. Now they are... They're, they're quite expensive, they're £62 and Chanel Water Fresh Tint is like 50 to 51 depending on where you buy it. So that's a, like a £10 increase but this claims to have like skincare within it whereas I don't think Water Fresh Tint has that much skincare properties to it. I would also say that these are a little bit thicker like f more coverage than water fresh water fresh tin, but not full coverage by any means. Um, also, with this, a little does go a long way. So I guess it will be interesting to see how long this lasts and kind of do a bit of a sort of like price per wear kind of breakdown. It's very nice. Um, I've not tried it with a brush. I've only used my fingers, um, just because I find that is the best way with products like these because it just sort of melts them onto the skin. Right, I did my brows because no one needs to see that. Um, not the best brow day, but who cares. Right, lashes. I'm back into wearing mascara again. Didn't really wear mascara throughout the whole of summer, mainly because of hay fever. And I just find in the summer, I don't know, just don't really want to wear mascara. But now that we are getting closer to winter and I feel like I'm just looking more and more dull and just grey, Mascara just kind of like lifts my eye area a bit, makes me look a little bit more awake on the grey, tired mornings. Um, the mascara that I'm using is the Victoria Beckham, what is this one, Future Lash, Smudge Free Lifting Mascara. This mascara is also, um, it was explained to me the kind of like technology or like how it works, but you can kind of like almost like pull the mascara off in tubes and it doesn't damage your lashes like it removes really easily basically and it's um when it says it's smudge free I can um hand on heart say it is smudge free as someone who really struggles with the whole panda eye thing because my eyelashes are quite long I can wholeheartedly say I've not had issues with this mascara you can kind of see it's also um when when, I, when it was sent to me, it was um, described as a good mascara for people who kind of don't want that. Almost just want like a very subtle lash look, not um, like a sort of like thick voluminising lash. Um, this is just like, literally just like a really thin coat. It's very, very nice. Um, what should I do next? I've done my bronzer. Oh yes. In a bid to sort of like, a bit of lip balm actually. In a bid to sort of like hold on to that summer, that summer face, I have been using Freck, which is um, a little, a little tool that you can use to recreate freckles. It has taken a few applications to really kind of nail it. Sometimes I put on too many. Sometimes not enough. Sometimes the placement is quite wrong. Um, but they've got some good tutorials on their, like, good images and tutorials and stuff on their website. So yeah, just do, I don't know if that's going to show up on camera, I just do a little bit, like, across my nose and on, like, these parts of, basically, if you just kind of think about where, because naturally I get freckles in the summer, so I just think about where those freckles are, and they normally are all over my nose and kind of around this area, so it is just the high points of my face. And then... Ah, this is the other thing that I just wanted to quickly show. Um, this is a blusher that came with the the Westman Atelier complexion drops. This is the Baby Cheeks Blush Stick. The packaging alone of this brand is is very nice, very satisfying. That is a, a nice magnetic lid. I love I love blush, but I have to change the shade of blush obviously in the winter. And this is a very true, just like rosy pink. I'd say it's not too warm. It's not too cold, it's just like 
slap bang in the middle. Oh, the sun's just gone behind the clouds and now, now I don't look as, as glowy. I really don't put in a lot of time with my makeup anymore. Like I just, if I'm honest, I just can't be bothered. I just want products that do all of the hard work for me that can be applied really easily and really quickly. And I'm finding that just like a bit of blush, the freckles, mascara, and then I'm done. Apologies for the appalling quality of this clip right now. The light is so bad this morning. And surprisingly, my iPhone actually performs better in low light than my vlog camera, which is pretty shocking. I've been digging through my wardrobe, bringing out some good old pieces um, and just feeling quite good. You know, when you go, sometimes I go through that transitioning period where the where I just don't feel like myself and I don't know how to dress and I feel very uninspired. Whereas now, like, and then all of a sudden something will just change and I feel inspired again. So I'm feeling inspired right now. Um, Student Nicholson Trench from last summer, I believe. This is a trench I do not reach for enough. And I think it's because it's slightly green toned and it, it just, it doesn't get worn much because I always grab for like my navy or my black coats. When actually this kind of acts as a really good neutral with a lot of the things I own. So I really should wear it more often. Underneath, I've got a cropped wool turtleneck from Anne Daughter. Another one from last year, which I think they do continue over into like following seasons. So I'll double check. Really good length. It's cropped, but not to the point where it's like at your belly button. It kind of hides the top of the jeans, which I think is really nice. Excellent neck as well because it stands upright. I'm really not a fan of those funnel necks that are really slouchy. I like a turtleneck to either be skin tight or stiff enough to sort of like hold its own um but still sit away from the neck which this does perfectly cos bag which you've all seen countless times now um very old weekday voyage jeans i think some of you might remember the heartbreak i felt when they discontinued these still don't understand why they did i don't know if it was just a uk thing because quite a few people um outside of the uk said that they are still available in their countries which it was even more heartbreaking um this pair in particular have shrunk a little bit, as you can see. They're just like, they don't look that bad, but they're just a wee bit too cropped, I think. They just need to be like half an inch longer, but I'm still clinging on to them because they're so like worn in and soft and just feel all lovely. I think maybe I'll do a little bit of a Depop hunt soon and see if I can find any more of these still knocking about. Um, Muji socks and then Legres sort of like lace up derbies and then I will just wear Muji you know the classic Muji tote bag for my laptop it's Friday I've been working from home this morning so apologies if you can spot any mess in the background whenever I work from home I tend to just create absolute chaos on the dining room table I'm now going to go out because I have a pile of things that need to go to the tailor and I want them to go to the tailor desperately because a obviously I want to wear them and b I'm going to New York in nine days time a week on monday so yeah like nine nine days time um i want to be able to wear some of these things while i'm in new york i, ca I cannot wait i'm just, like the i only went to Europe for the first time in september um and it was very fleeting it was for work but this time it's a whole week it's um for my friend's birthday nothing really work related whatsoever i cannot wait and i'm even more excited because uh it's Christmas time and I've never ever seen New York looking all Christmassy I'm I love Christmas I, I just I cannot wait to to just live my best Kevin McAllister life for a week I just I'm so excited anyway no, enough of that what am I taking to the tailor that is what I am here to show you I'm gonna take these Lulu studio jeans because I'm in was it in the vlog before this I said how I'd been wearing them with a turn up and I actually quite liked it I'm finding the turn up is kind of annoying it's not that versatile with all shoes and I think just a normal hem will be much more versatile. So I'm going to ask the tailor if they can keep the, do the special thing they do where they keep the original hem and have them just sit, just like millimetres above the floor so that they sit on my shoes a lot nicer. I'm going to take that 12 storey skirt that I showed you the other day, just kind of nip it in at the back because it was gaping on the kind of back of my waist. These, these totem trousers, which I was a bit unsure about, but 
kept putting them on and just thinking that they looked really horrible on me, but um, it's because they don't fit me properly, they're too long. They're a sort of tapered shape, and I think with tapered trousers, they need to hit at the right spot because it's, with the tapered style, when they start to sort of gather on your shoes, it ruins that sort of like clean tapered line. Um, you really want them to sort of like curve inwards and then just like really clean and then just stop at the ankle. Well, that's personally how I like them to fit. Um, so that's what I'm gonna have sorted with these, just quite a bit of length taken off the bottom. Also gonna have the same done with these trousers. I don't know how to, I never know how to pronounce this brand. Rohe, Rui. Um, Again, that tapered style, which just needs to, needs to have an inch or two taken off because they don't sit right. These are beautiful, and I think these are gonna be great for heels, like a little heel. Um, not that I wear heels often, but occasionally, you know, I've got my tabby boots that've got heel. Um, and then last but not least, everything's black. Honestly, I'm wearing black today. Long, this really long, like touches the floor type of long, Sheer dress from um, La Collection has a really nice button neck, um, kind of like a slightly high neck. This needs quite a lot to take off the bottom, as you can imagine, it's just far too long. disgusting matcha I've ever made. <laughs> I think I've just made that with almond milk. That is, that is gross. Okay, that is so much better. Today is another very grey and miserable gloomy day. Very much like the mood of this vlog this week. It's funny because wasn't I saying like this time of year I'm so social, I like to do loads of things. However, this week has been like the total opposite of that and I have literally done nothing. It's been very much like, sat, I, both of us have just been sat on the couch every evening with a rotation of Bake Off, Grand Designs, and I'm a Celebon. And I'm sure it's a very similar story for many of you out there because this week has just been just horrible. Um, I did have plans, but then the weather just, I blame the weather. Like I, I don't want to go out in the evening when it's pouring with rain and neither do most of my friends. So there's been a lot of cancellations, but I promise, there is things, there are things coming. Next week is a much more interesting week. There's all sorts happening next week. And then the week after that, I go to New York. I I get a bit emotional when I think about it because I I just keep thinking about what it's gonna be like and just all how Christmassy it's gonna be. And I saw like a video of the tree at Rock uh, Center being put up and I got really emotional. I was like, oh yeah. I'm feeling it here um, and I cannot wait and I'm gonna vlog it. What else was I gonna say? Today's Saturday. I wasn't gonna go out, I was gonna have a full cosy day today. Candles, film, the whole thing. But I am actually gonna go out because a walk always does make me feel good um, and I would like to go and get myself something nice for lunch and something, something nice for Dean and I to have for tea he's working today and he doesn't usually work on a Saturday um, but the job he's on at the moment like n n has to be done by the time we go to Australia after Christmas um, so he's working extra days to obviously make sure that's done because we're going for six weeks so it's quite a long time to be away um, so yeah the job has to be done then I'll come back and have my cosy day or cosy afternoon Maybe I'll watch Freaky Friday or um, what was the other one I was going to maybe watch? The one with Hilary Duffin. Is it just called like Cinderella Story or something like that? With, is it Chad Michael Murray? Finally, wearing some colour. Not much, but it is some colour. Arquette hat, student Nicholson jumper. This is about two, maybe three years old now. So this is long gone, unfortunately. However, I have noticed that cars are really getting on the electric blue thing this season and they've done a couple of knits that I'll link in the description box. Um, that also reminds me, I ordered the, they've done an electric blue beanie with a matching scarf and I ordered both because I love blue, um, as many of you know. I think it looks lovely with grey, as demonstrated here. 
And I'm also picturing in my head the beanie and the scarf worn together with an all black outfit. I think that will look quite cool. The Roe Banana Bag, uh, Le 17 September Coat. This is also a, a couple of seasons old, but I saw on the brand's Instagram stories recently that they re-released this coat. However, I'm struggling to find anywhere that stocks it. Essence has the brown version, but have not been able to locate the grey. They're quite a hard brand to shop, actually. They, they tend to sort of like divvy out different styles to different stockists, and you can get the brand through like Net, I think Harrods and Browns, but they carry, I, I would say, the, the weaker styles. The brand has so many strong pieces, but they're just not available through UK stockists. Um, Essence seems to be the best all-round like stockist. Like they have the better selection out of all the stockists I've kind of seen. Um, if I do locate the grey, I obviously will link it. Uh, vintage Levi's 501s, got these on Etsy recently, and then Magda Bertram boots and mud on the floor is courtesy of the boots. trying out this new vlogging angle. Um, sat in the park and ate my lunch, that was very nice. As you can see from the sky behind me, the weather has done a complete 180 and there's not a cloud in the sky now. It's so nice. Um, so that was lovely, sat on a bench with the sun beaming through the trees down on me. Um, I'm now walking home and when I get home I will park myself on the sofa and edit this vlog together. Um, so this seems like a good time to wrap it up, say goodbye and wish you all well. Um, hopefully there will be some consecutive uploads now, I guess kind of like life just gets, in, even though I vlog life, sometimes just like things get in the way of vlogging or things just, I don't know, you know what I mean, but, um, over the next few weeks I will be kind of vlogging a bit more consistently and then I imagine maybe like mid-December take a bit, little bit of a break for Christmas not sure see how it goes anyway um until the next one hope you are all doing well and um I'll see you soon <laughs>